Hi there, how are you? It's Miss Anna here. Okay, before we study to do the piano accompaniment, so you have to know for the modern music score, the sheet music look totally different. It may look like this way. This one or that one. The sheet music has the melody in the middle and the lyrics on the bottom and the chords on the very top. And some of the music she they only have the words, lyrics, and the chords on the top. There's no melody on that. So what's exactly the chords mean? How do we exactly play the chords? Now, let us start it. Okay, so this is the piece, Happy Birthday. Happy birthday to you. I think everybody knows one, right? Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Birthday to you. So did you realize that when I play this the melody, when I play this piece, I don't have the melody on my hands. I'm singing the melody and I'm just adding the chords. Now, let us just try to understand how do we do the chords. The definition of the chords is combination of three or more notes, like this or this. Okay, so the chords um, is gonna be built up to at least three notes. The bottom one, called the lute. The middle one, we call the third. The top one, called the fifth. Together. The basic chords we're gonna study is called major chords. For example, if you see on the music score, there is a capital C. That means a C major. So how do you find the C major? You see, if you see the C capital C, we start from C. Then build up the loop to the third is major third. And build up the, the lute to the fifth is a perfect fifth. But if you haven't studied what's major third, what's perfect fifth, you can count in like that. If you see the capital C, I start on C. Counting on four semitone, one, two, three, four. So this is your next note, third note. Then start on here, counting another three semitone, one, two, three. Here we go, C, E, G. So this is C chords. Okay, same thing. If you give, uh, you just get a chord like F chord, F. So you start on F. Okay, you're counting up four semitone. One, two, three, four. Counting up another three semitone. One, two, three. Here we go. F A C. So this is F chords. So if you start on like G. G chord, so you start on G, four semitone, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, so this is G chord. Okay, we just got a major chord, now we study the minor chord. Minor chord sometimes is CM, so that means C minor chord. Again, you start on C chord, C, then you build up minor third, and perfect fifths. Minor third plus perfect fifths. C, E, F, G. But if you feel confused about that way, so you're counting three semitone plus four semitone, that's C minor chord. For example, C minor, counting up three semitone, one, two, three. Then one, two, three, four. Three semitone plus four semitone, so that's minor chords. Okay, for example, if I say G minor, so it's seven G. Okay, three semitone, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. So that's G minor chord. Okay, for example, if I say A minor, I start on A. Three semitone, one, two, three. Then counting up four semitone, one, two, three, four. So that's A minor. Okay, there's another very common chord called seventh chord. For example, if I say G7, G7, dominant seventh chord. Okay, so how do you find the G7 chord? So the definition of G7 is major third, perfect five, and minor seven. But if you're confused about the way, you just count it. If I say G7, seven G, four semitone, one, two, three, four, three semitone, one, two, three, 
another three semitone. So that's G7. Okay. For example, if I say, okay, I want A7, 7, 8, four semitone, one, two, three, four. Three semitone, one, two, three. Another three semitone, one, two, three. That's A7. Got it? Okay, now let's take a look at the piece called Happy Birthday. I think everybody is familiar with the piece, right? Happy birthday to you. How many chords do we have? We have C chord. Right. We have G7 chords. C chord, remember? Four semitone. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then we have G7 chords. Remember four semitone? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? What else do we have? We have F chords. How do you find the F chord? Four semitones. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, if you're not familiar with the chords, you can write down the name. Uh, for example, C chord, write a C, E, G. So G7, you write a G, B, uh, G, B, D, F. F chord, you write a F, A, C. Then, what you can do is, you add the left hand. Left hand is simple. One single note. If you wish, you can add an octave. Okay. For example, let's just practice the chords. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Here we go. Well, we just played the very simple version for Happy Birthday in C major. But you might realize, oh, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Well, the range is a little bit too low. You might don't feel very comfortable to do the C major. However, we can just transposition, called modulation. Modulate the happy birth sounds to F major. Okay, so... If I step on that major, F major, you're going to feel much comfortable to play. But we have to use different chords. Alright, so for example, the first one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. feel much comfortable right and as meanwhile you're gonna realize my right hand keep keeping doing the chords yeah happy birthday to you Then before it's kind of too boring. Just happy birthday to you. 